Hello and welcome back to this uh, new tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to delete a document from our database and how to delete a database. Um, <clears throat> in the previous uh, video we've learned how to create a database and um, create um, a document and save it to the new database or to an existing database. And um, today we're going to learn how to reverse that, how to delete the document and how to delete um, an existing database. Okay, so first of all, um, as you can see, this is the exact same um, uh, place that we've ended uh, our previous uh, video. And uh, in, in the last video, we just saved the document without even uh, checking if the database uh, had acknowledged uh, our new document or not. Um, and uh, I, I want to show you how, how you can acknowledge um, the document that that you created that you saved to the database so let's let's do it first and after that um, i'm going to show you how to delete the the new document that we've created so um, let's let's um, create a new document uh, i'll set a new uh, random id i'll change the person name let's call him youtube dude and the email should will be yt dude and previously, as I said, we just saved it. But today, I'm gonna I'm gonna set in here the doc ID and doc rev <clears throat> and save it like that. What I'm looking for is um, these. You can see when I'm when I'm creating a document, um, CouchDB automatically creates two uh, fields in the document which are id underscore id and underscore rev and uh, that's what i'm trying to retrieve from uh, the database when i'm saving the document and for uh, seeing that let's print it print them on on the screen um, doc id and print doc rev okay let's do that let's run that Okay, you can see our doc ID in here and our doc rev in here. And just to, for uh, comparing it, let's refresh our database. You can see that now that we have a second document in here and the ID in here. Let's, um, let's click on that. <clears throat> you can see that's the YouTube dude and the ID is the ID from here, and the rev is the rev from here. So that's how we can um, how we can um, acknowledge the document that we saved. Now, uh, as I mentioned, I want to delete a document. So in order to delete a document, I will need to pick it from the database. And to pick it from the database, I need to, to do it like that, DB. And inside the square brackets, I need to set the document ID like that and save it to this uh, doc. And now, uh, just to check that I'm on, that, I, that I've selected the right, uh, the right document, I wanna print the content of this document and obviously what i'm expecting to see is um, this to uh, to uh, per the the person name and the person email um, let's let's run that okay you can see we got the person name youtube dude and the email youtube uh, yt dude at Python couchdb.com and um, basically that's how we can select the document from the database. Now after we've selected that document we can delete it. How do we do that? Just type db.delete and give it the document that we've picked in uh, our query. Let's run that. Okay, and refresh our database. We can see that we have only one document left inside of it. So that's how we've deleted 
the, the, the speci a specific document. In order to delete the database itself, all we need to do is write couch. That's, this is the, the couch that I'm looking for. And again, delete and give the database name, which is db underscore test. Set it in here, run the query, and that's it. Let's refresh it. And now we can see that the database disappeared. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe our uh, YouTube channel uh, to get all the new videos. And if you have any comments, any questions, please, uh, you can uh, write everything, anything that you would like in our um, comments. And I'll be happy to help if, if I can. Thank you and have a great day.